Greetings, hi, the war Al Greece you, and I'm going to be showing you here once again another 5 vs. 5 Counter-Strike Global Offensive match, and this is game number 2 of this best of 3 series between the Ninjas in Pajamas and Navi, and it is from DreamHack Summer 2014. This is the Grand Finals, game number 2. Game number 1 did, in fact, go to the Ninjas in Pajamas. See Gen right trying to sneak up behind Zeus who just snuck by. Looking like they're gonna be trying to take bombsite B. Only one player to watch B. That's get right. Normally you're gonna stick two players there, at least three. But as we see, Ninjas in Pajamas is set up in a position where they can very quickly rotate um, over to bombsite B in case something happens. So get right is gonna be the player to watch this. Looking like he may have scared them out. No, they're gonna be running out lower fairly soon. So we have the Flashes going down, or the smoke's going down. They're going to run through the smoke into the site. Fiflaren very close as the terrorists charge out of the smoke. And Fiflaren mows down three players on the team. Gitrite's still up inside of the site, though. Bomb is down underneath the train. They're not going to be able to get that because there are three counter terrorists watching it. Now put it into a two versus two. All of a sudden, the tables have turned very quickly, and it is Forrest. One versus two against Edward and Guardian. Guardian, long range. He only has two health left. Knows where these players are. And he has to try and prevent him from getting the bomb, but it's not going to happen. Somehow, Navi is able to win that round. That was incredible. Very surprising that uh, that that happened that Navi was able to do that that looked like a round for ninjas in pajamas wow he flaring with a three frag as those players tried to entry and yet Navi is still able to win it very nice job so second round we do have armor pistol from three of the ninjas in pajamas get right using a Nova trying to emulate the Nova ace can it happen are three terrorists Sitting in the bank halls, getting ready to go bomb site B. Get right playing this solo. That flash did miss, and that allowed Get right to get the kill off of Edward. Wow. Team flash for the lose there. Goodness. All right. Should rotate those players inside. Here comes Exist and Fiflaren already in position. Terrace getting ready to push. They are taking their time, waiting to get a setup. They do not have a smoke. They've spent all their money to get armor and uh, weapons. Get right. Peeking to see what he can see. Now creeping forward. Zeus no longer watching an upper. And they're going to be going outside. So it's now up for get, time for Gitrite to uh, move in from the back. Fiflaren actually able to take out a player. And Gitrite takes out Zeus. Wow. Now a two versus four. Another surprising round. What is going on here? Sterix watches back to make sure that Gitrite cannot flank him. Exists inside of the connector there. Guardian taking the players on. Fiflaren with another nice kill. And he does go down now, a one versus one. Sterix versus Gidright. Gidright gonna be sneaking around, has found himself a Galil. We'll see what Sterix does here. Doesn't know where Gidright is. And Gidright gonna be engaging this player. And he does go down, Sterix is able to win it. Another win for Navi, but wow, what a close round. So far we've had two very close rounds, but that's two T-side points for Navi. That's huge. Train is, uh, is a very... Um, counter-terrorist sided map, and it is, it's sort of become, um, a real problem for the ninjas in pajamas. They've been losing tournaments on train. It's a map they used to be so good at, and there is the op from Guardian, completely out-opping Fiflaren. Now we see ninjas in pajamas is going to be doing a, a force buy on this round. Yet again, another force buy. Team's been doing this quite a bit. Spending up all their money. They even have an AWP on their team. Players getting picked one at a time, though. Haven't really been able to make a dent. The rounds have been so close that they are so close economically. Get right somehow from B sneaks up behind them. And Bomb moving into the side right now to go down. Get right moving in from the back. Seized is watching it. But Get right takes him down. Now a 1v2 with Get right still up. This is entirely possible for him to win this round. He's taking on Sterix here. He doesn't know where that other player is. Has to try and figure out where Zeus is. And Sterix continuing to engage Get Right. And he does take him down. Navi now with three points. T side train to start off game number two. Lovely. Game number one did go to the Ninjas in Pajamas. All right, Guardian. 
I'm going to be offing on the T side train. There's a few pick positions you can play. Oh, I'm going to be playing inside though. May go down the ladder. No, he's going to be playing upper B in case a player tries to pick. And check this out. All of the counter terrorists, they're full saving and they're stacking outside. So inside is the happening place to be. And seized. Gets a kill. Counter terrorists not allowing him to move in here. This is a very difficult angle to play. And it's actually going to force them back. Spraying with those uh, USPs. They are all using the silenced USP. No P2000s here. Now puts it into a three versus three, and Gidright is able to grab this uh, AK-47. Wow. Gets blocked by his teammate. Exists standing in the way. Terrace now getting ready to push out into the site. Sterix is behind Gidright, who is continuing to watch the Z Connector, and he does go down because of that. Nice entry by Sterix. One player left inside of Z Connector. Sterix will engage. That is V Flare, and all he's got is a pistol, and there is a nice three frag. All right, Navi now at four points. Ninjas in pajamas hasn't been able to make anything happen here. When we check out our money. Ninjas in pajamas will be buying on this round. Get right able to afford uh, an auto sniper. We'll be playing inside with this thing solo. All right, and Fiflaren will be opping from um, connector here. The Z connector. Looking for feet. Two players moving out Ivy. Freiburg going to be playing Ivy uh, very passively here. Oh, now he's going to pick it. Sterix is there. Waiting for him. And there he is. Just misses it. The nades are flying, though. Terrace are able to take position at Ivy. And catches Freiburg off guard, throwing a smoke. That was his opportunity. Just missed it. In the meantime, bomb has been dropped around B. Three players have rotated inside to B. It looks like they've probably thrown a smoke. There's the smoke throw from Zeus. This will cause these players to rotate inside. Here comes Exist. Then I'll open it up for an outside take. So here's Forest. On top of the train closest to the TZ connector. And Terrace and Stead are going to be going B. So it's a double fake out, and it looks like it's going to work because uh, Counter Terrace are rotating back. So here's Gidright taking a very long range position with this auto sniper. And you can solo this position with the auto sniper, especially if players try to run down lower. All right, but if those terrorists get to sight, it's going to be a difficult retake. We have a Lurk player on the other side of the map just about to engage as terrorists now move into the site. They've already gotten into the site. The Lurk player, Sterix, is down. Forrest was able to take him up. Oh, what a shot by Guardian. Sends Gidright flying there. This is an important round for ninjas in pajamas. And Exist goes down as well. If he flaring on the ground with an AWP, Freiburg in a forward position. Trades himself. Now with two versus two. Now one versus two. Looking good here for the ninjas in pajamas. This is their big chance to take back the momentum here. Forrest going to be defusing that thing. Zeus gets it. Now just be flaring left. These are these clutch plays we were talking about. Timer going down. Not going to happen. He misses the shot. And there's another point for Navi. Timer went down super fast there. And as soon as Navi gets a foothold into that bomb site B, it's gonna be super difficult for Ninjas in Pajamas to retake it, because they're just gonna fall back and play the bomb. All right, what is that, a Tech-9 we see there? Haven't seen one of those in a long time. I think that was a missed purchase from Zeus. All right. Guardian off and outside, doesn't see anything. Forest on top of the train. Get right. The Mag-7 inside. Ninjas in Pajamas able to get another buy here. They've been buying like every round. Goodness. Blue Shell Effect is kicking in though. Because they have now lost five rounds in a row. Oh! Forest did not seem to see Seized there. Through that smoke. Nice kill though. And Zeus moves out. We'll be moving into the site. Three versus four now. Terrace in some trouble. Bomb has been dropped. Going after Exist. Not able to land that headshot. And we have Gedright sneaking up behind him here with the Mag 7. Zeus very low, Sterix low as well. Double Mag 7 kill. Guess what, guys? That is a ton of extra money here now for Gedright. And Ninjas in Pajamas is back in this thing economically. And because of all of the 1 5 in a row here. Oh, what? I did not expect them to buy. Navi doing another buy. Armor, no helmet with Galil, but Guardian still able to afford 
uh, this AWP. Going to be playing Ivy with it. Should get boosted up onto the fence. Very common spot to put an AWPer at Ivy and surprise the Ivy player. We do have someone watching that. And Guardian is able to pick off Freiburg there. Nice job. That's why you boost a player up. All right, C's so getting ready. P count. They're split so that they can take uh, bomb site A. Look like three going to come out the front. Exist watching it in a very forward position. Ducking down. Yeah, look at C's. Kind of completely aware of it, but uh, still able to take him down. Forrest from the other position. Oh, oh. So difficult to get players when you're moving like that. Now a three versus uh, three versus four. Not looking good for Navi on this round. Ninjas in pajamas might be able to hold on to it, but still, I mean, five points, T-side train already. They're doing a good job. They've already pretty much met their quota for the half. Five points, T-side train is good enough to win. All right, it looks like they're going to be rotating to go inside. So here's Gidright with a liberated AK-47. Oh, what are they going down ladder? No, they're going to still be going downstairs. So they're just trying to force a rotate. Here comes Exist for the rotate. They will be pushing out ladder room, and here's Forrest. So they know about it. They're watching it with the AWP. Oh, but Zeus runs out, and Guardians is able to get that AWP shot, though. Terrace now push outside. Should be rotating back. Here's Sterex. Exist already inside of Z Connector. He's going to try and plant, but uh, he will be visible to Exist. He is able to take it down. Now just Guardian left. Gets caught off guard by Gidright, who sneaks up from behind. Ninjas in pajamas now. Two points. Navi at five. They're back in this thing. Interesting to note, Fiflaren has been opping a lot more. Will be a full save from Navi. They want to get that bomb planted. They, have, they haven't purchased anything. They're just clocking. Not even a single smoke grenade to uh, try and get that bomb plant. They've actually dropped the bomb, so going for picks with the pistol. I don't know how uh, effective this will be. Man, get right. Here's a few of them running around there. It just walked past. That smoke's going to clear now. Ah, Edward quickly runs back before it clears. Oh, check this out. Terrace are able to push out to hell. They've actually grabbed that bomb. Didn't work out too well. Freiburg was there waiting for him. So now we have a little bit of a panic here. As the terrorists move around the map, getting mowed down one at a time. But Zeus takes out Gidright. That's big. Tried to go for that weapon, but it was a trap. And Exist takes him down. All right, easy peasy lemon squeezy round for ninjas in pajamas. Couldn't have gone differently. Navi on this round will be buying up AK-47s. Guardian, there he goes. Finally buying it. Maybe one of the save go for an op or something. The best hope I think that Navi has of getting that op is stealing it from Fiflaren's cold, dead hands. Get right, very forward here. That's dangerous. Two players stack inside. So they're gonna rotate get right out of there. Fiflaren is now gonna be the inside player picking it with his AWP. It was a really quick pick shot. Nobody was there though. And Terra's setting up. Haven't really decided where they're gonna go yet. Moving around the map fairly slowly, planning this thing out, waiting for smokes to clear. There are no smokes though, so I wonder what the the delay is. They've dropped the bomb, looking like they're gonna go for picks inside. Fiflaren has already fallen back a little bit, and they've rotated Git right back inside. All right. They got that bomb set up, so they can always grab it and go down ladder. And there's a player right there, Edward, about to peek. It's time for Flaren to get this entry off. Very tense moment. Lots of flashes and smokes outside in the meantime. Edward is going to play Lurk. So they've already moved outside. Edward now pushes. Terrace trying to make something happen here. We're not able to break in. They've fallen back, grab that bomb. Not gonna go down the ladder with it. Instead, gonna try to go upstairs. Just Guardian left. One versus five. Probably not gonna happen and he gets taken down by Gidright. All right, Ninjas in Pajamas coming back. Just won four points in a row. That's good. That's good. We'll have another save round here for Navi. Saw a sloppy save round that first time with those Glocks. Let's see what they try to do this time. They've got that one smoke. Looking like they were going to throw it outside. And then sort of aborted that pretty quickly. 
and uh, pre-smoking this area here. Smoke is on C, so they're bringing the smoke Ivy. I'm not sure how effective that's going to be. Looking like they want to try and take CT spawn, which is something you can do while you're saving, is to throw the smoke here on the right side and then run through and take CT spawn. I don't know how effective that would be. Another defensive smoke going down, so they're going to wait until that thing clears. And Edward looking like he's going to peek upstairs. Oh, Freiburg just watching this. Waiting for anyone to try to push through that smoke. Which they will not. They are waiting. One minute left now. They've used all their time. Edward is going to peek pretty soon on the other side of the map. Another smoke. That's a, That one from the terrorists. So they're able to move up Ivy. Those, that, that was the smoke. They're going to burst down here and try to take out Freiburg. They do flash him. We have a desperation spray there to try to survey, uh, survive, but it will not save him. Terrorists are able to get out there. Guardian runs into hell. Oh, nice glocking by Seize to take out Vflaren. Moving up from behind, Exist is able to catch him off guard. Now just get right left. What a round here from Navi. If they're able to win this, now a one versus two scenario. That nade could kill Seize, and it does. One versus one now, taking on Guardian. And he does it. There's get right. Will be defusing that bomb. And that is the strategy of ninjas in pajamas. Put it into a get right VX situation and sit back and wait. Watch the frags pile in. All right, 5v5 or 5 points to 5 now. All tied up, but uh, really Navi is still in the lead. Double auto sniper and an op. We got more scoped weapons on ninjas in pajamas than we do just a regular... Rifles, this is crazy. They're gonna play this hold off super passive. Three players playing from the uh, connector. That's nuts. All right, we have terrorists looking like they want to take inside. There has been that off player playing inside. Instead, this time Fee Flaren gonna be playing outside. So switching it up. Looks like Navi is playing for that off player because we see Guardian trying to get the the uh, picks. Looking for Fiflaren, and Fiflaren is not there. Alright, terrorists have called a full rotate over here to bombsite B, just about to pour into it. Two players here holding it off. Neither are the scoped players. So all of the uh, retake players are going to be the scoped players. And they will have like a long-range shooting gallery once the T's take this site. This is very interesting. Alright, generally a terrorist is going to jump down onto this position, so they'll be like behind get right here. And, oh, Get Right takes the entry players moving in. Finally does go down. Two players left retaking the site. C's trying to get that bomb planted. Now we have the shooting gallery. A bunch of scoped players. And seem to see Edward there at upper. Oh, Edward takes him down. Now Freiburg taking a forward position. Very close. As soon as the smoke clears, C's is able to take him. The Flaren in a 1v2 situation now. Almost not able to land that shot. Timer ticking down. Players on his right, though. Oh, nice shot. That was incredible. One versus one now. That bomb is definitely going off. Is able to no-scope seize, but there is not enough time. Faflaren will try to exit. Will he survive with that op? And he will with six health left. So a very nice attempt by Faflaren. Some incredible shots, but did not do them fast enough. Navi now at six points. Taking back. The point lead. However, that was a great round economically for ninjas in pajamas. They killed all the Navi players. When we check out our economy from Navi, they've spent all their money. So if Navi loses this round, they're going to have to save again. Here's Gidride watching lower. And Terra split up. Three players inside. Bomb this time has been dropped not to go down the ladder. So if they do go inside, they'll rotate seized. That's exactly what they're going to do. We'll be doing four players to take inside. We actually have a full rotate because here comes Sterix as well. All right, get right. Very forward position. They have two players watching inside, though, so it's going to be a strong inside hold off. A difficult thing to take. It's a very difficult... B bomb site's very difficult to take T side. Generally, because of that, you only have to leave one CT in there. Oh, that's a nice shot. Bye, get right. And when he gets a frag, why pull back? Charge forward and kill the rest of them. There's three frags with the bomb now down. On, get right. 
He didn't he didn't take a single shot to kill those three players. He did not take any damage. The only damage he has is two health, one armor from that nade that was thrown at him. Six six now in terms of the points. Navi's still doing great though. Alright, Fee Flaren. We'll be opping once again, and yeah, like we said, Navi now has to save. We'll see if they buy a smoke. No, not gonna be purchasing a smoke here on this save round. Yeah, there seems like they're just chilling in the spawn, like planning it, I guess, checking out their money to see if it's possible. The person they want to buy a smoke is Zeus. Well, he's already way out here. Again, it looks like a, another sloppy pistol round from Navi. Yeah. They've been incredibly sloppy with these pistol rounds. Sort of messing around. And you can really pull off some crazy stuff on the pistol rounds, especially with the, the CZ. Oh, Terrace getting ready to push now. Freiburg once again. Standing in front of the smoke very bravely. Oh, Guardian doesn't know how close he was to death. Behind that sandbag. Doesn't know Guardian is there. So he's getting ready to move out C. And here's Forrest waiting for Seized. And takes his, I mean, yeah, missed his shot, but uh, there's Freiburg with the four frag against those saving players. Goodness. Navi doesn't, it doesn't seem like Navi tries on the pistol rounds. It doesn't seem like they're really, they really think it's possible to make something happen. It is, it, a train is a difficult round. I mean, there's a number of different strats you could do, though. You could throw certain smokes outside and get the bomb planted. A little bit of extra money spent to get that bomb planted, maybe get a few frags. You could do a rush inside B. There's plenty of things you can do. I mean, they, they should have by now figured out that Get Right is playing this super aggressive here and pushing up that ramp at the start. They could surprise Get Right, maybe nade stack him, maybe just charge through and pistol him or just shoot him through that smoke. Either way, Navi has not really made good use of the pistol rounds. Guardian will be saving this round. Um, not buying a weapon. He doesn't have enough money for it. So he would have if he bought a weapon. He doesn't have money. He's less money because he is the opper. He's been purchasing those ops. All right, but it is a very important round here for both teams. We check out our money. If Navi loses it, next round's gonna be a crazy force buy because it is last round. Forrest inside of the site holding it down. Terra's trying to push outside. Edward's sneaking up from behind, but that's not going to happen. Forrest takes him out with the silenced USP. Last round of the half here. Ninjas in pajamas at eight. Navi at six. Navi actually still, once again, doing a great job here. T side train. It will be the crazy force buy. So we got an AK 47 and uh, armor, no helmet on Guardian. And uh, CZ. Nades and flashes on Seized and Sterics. So they'll be playing like a support position as well as putting themselves out there to allow one of these players with the uh, weapons to get a frag. You can also use the CZ to get some crazy picks. Oh, look at this. Setting up to take outside. Shots are being fired. And terrorists setting up to split outside. The smokes are down. That Molotov's gonna be huge. Those, oh, I think it landed inside of the smoke though. No, Molotov forces these terrorists back. Edward's like, ah, get me out of here. Four health left, has a player on his head, trying to fall back from that. Get right, lying in wait for the kill. There it is. Terrace now trying to push outside. And they get hell. Take out Freiburg. Counter Terrace moving to retake. Here's Flaren. Oh, puts it into a one versus two again with get right. He gets put in this position so much, but he has the bomb. Huge mistake by Navi to leave that bomb back there. Now get right has the control. And didn't seem to see that player, and he does go down. That's going to be the half there. Ninja's in pajamas at 8, Navi at 7. So it is going to be favoring Navi at this point. And we shall resume when the teams are ready. Second half is commencing as Navi takes the CT side. Ninja's in pajamas now moving over to T. If Ninja's in pajamas wins this game, it's GG lights out. They win. Otherwise, it is Navi. I assume most of you know who won by now, though. All right, Terra's pushing outside. We'll be taking Hell Control very quickly with a nice... Oh, double nade by Exist. Nice job. Counter Terra is trying to move to retake this thing, but it is too late. Ninjas in pajamas have outside. There's nothing much they can do at this point. They now gave themselves away. They know where they buy the rest of them are. 
Sneaking up, trying to sneak up behind Gidright. Not gonna happen, three health left as Fiflaren holds it off long range. Just Guardian left. And he's got everyone to deal with. We see Gidright sneaking up behind him, and that's what's gonna end him. Ninjas in pajamas takes the pistol round. That all important pistol round. I think if Navi was able to take that pistol round, that would put him in such a good position. But a pistol round win from uh, Ninjas in pajamas puts them in this game. And they will be buying up here. We'll see a full armor pistol from Navi. No crazy shotguns or anything like that from them. I don't think they got the frags for it. No, they don't have the money for that. Terra's going to be just pushing inside. It's a difficult thing to hold off when you're uh, so low like this. Oh, but Zeus kills Fiflaren, steals a weapon. Oh, but he goes down. Terrorists already have the sight moving in. Deagle so bad. CZ so good. Sterix grabs a frag off of Freiburg. Three players left. He only has 12 rounds. Not going to happen. All right, there it is. It is uh, 10 points now to Ninjas in Pajamas taking those two pistol rounds. So we should see a full save from Navi for a fourth round buy. Armor pistol's fine. Doesn't put you too far behind. It just uh, makes a fourth round buy. You don't really have everything you would need. And also, Navi has not been getting the frags thus far CT side. They're so, they're so far behind economically that uh, they're not going to have all the nades and flashes and uh, helmets and such that they would need. Nice pre-nade by Forrest. Takes Edward down to 37. Because uh, armor protects against nades quite a bit. They do not have armor. Edward now down to 22 because of those nades. There's another one. Edward down to four. Poor guy hanging on the edge here. Tries to make something happen. He was he was dangerously close to a fall death. And Ninjas in Pajama moves in, quickly takes them all out, and is 7-11 in favor of Ninjas in Pajamas now. And we now get that fourth round by from Navi. And yeah, looks fine. This is the round to retake the momentum, though. This is the round to stop the ninjas in pajamas in their tracks. They need to start winning out. All right. Sis pushing out. Does have C's to deal with there. Terrace pushing out. One pass. Sterex. Sterex takes both of them down. What a sneaky position. And Terrace trying to take outside. Here's Forrest. Looking like this is the round for Navi to hold off. One versus five now. Ninjas in Pajamas was completely denied on that push. Everywhere they tried to push out, they got taken down. All right, Forrest checking out his knife in the corner. Just trying to survive. Seems like he hears seized. Oh, and Zeus sneaks up on him and takes him down. And Navi finally takes back that momentum. Now is the chance to punish Ninjas in Pajamas. Ninjas in Pajamas has one more buy round. And then Navi can force them into a save. So now's a chance for Ninjas in Pajamas to take this economic momentum. Let's see what they sent up to do. Now, I, I think now calls for one of those smoke strats outside. No, they do send one smoke. And it will be blocking off hell. So making it look like they're pushing out TZ. They have one player pushed out there, taken on Seized. Sterix watches Ivy. All right, so all, they're doing a 2-1-2. And that means they could eventually transition into a, a B take. Is the most like, or an, I'm sorry, an A side take, which is the most likely scenario. So they'll wait until a certain time until all of the uh, defensive smokes are down, then they'll push in. So you see the smoke there still waiting to clear. And as soon as it clears, they should be getting ready to push. There's another smoke, so. And 2-1-2, two, two, two players Ivy. One out the TZ connector, and two coming down the ladder. Oh no, they're rotating back, could go B. That's huge. Did they throw a uh, smoke before they left? No. There's another smoke down. And they're setting up to throw their smokes outside here. This is exactly what I was waiting for. It's going to be a three-player smoke. One of them should throw a smoke uh, from uh, down there, from train. Not going to happen. Or ladder. So smoking off Z, smoking off some of the long ways. Yeah, it's going to be difficult. Edward sort of has a little bit of a, uh, an area to look through here. Uh, inside of the bomb site. Terrace have pushed out, now moving into the site. Nice shots there. Trying to hold this thing off. Forrest watching for the flank player. Now just get right left. 
Not gonna happen, and uh, Navi completely shuts that down, so we should see a save here now for the ninjas in pajamas. All right. Let's see how Ninjas in Pajamas handles a save round on train. They will be buying a single smoke and, oh no, two smokes. One player CZ, one player armor. That's going to be get right. Let's see what they pull off with this. And it looks like they're all going to be going inside. Two players watching it. It's going to be a difficult thing to do, especially with Guardian up here with the op. Oh, they fell back. This is this might, If they throw the smokes properly, this will be a good a good opportunity to get a bomb plant just because of uh, how these CTs are positioned so far back, especially with Guardian opping. So they now know there's an opper upper. He gave that intel away. The smoke is down. So Lao Lao and push down into the site. But I think Zeus just threw a Molotov to prevent it. Yeah, but Molotovs will clear before smokes. So it's all good. Freiburg even takes a little bit of that. Terra's moving out to plant the bomb. Fiflaren almost dies inside of that. Uh... Oh, bomb goes down on the site though. Thanks to Guardian pushing forward a little bit and then pulling out the pistol. Not gonna happen. Oh, just misses it. And there it goes. Guardian cleans it up for a three frag, preventing the bomb plant. But we saw what Ninjas in Pajamas was trying to do there. They spent the money, they went for it. Didn't make it happen, but it's not really gonna hurt them that much on this next round. Especially since uh, they got a little bit ahead economically at the start of this half. All right, seems like things are going pretty even though. We have Navi at 10, Ninjas in Pajamas at 11. With Navi on CT side now. Ants, Terrace, all going inside once again. One player playing Z. Freiburg charging through the Molotov, dies in the fire. One player to watch inside. CTs have rotated outside. One player pushed up Ivy as well. And here is Zeus to hold it off, pushed forward in front of the smoke. This will give him an advantage. Prevents those players from pushing down. A rotate now from the CTs. Are able to move into the site, but Edward is still up. Three versus three. Ooh, takes him down. Guardian still up with the op long range. And good hold off. They actually got that bomb down. This is this is actually be a great play here for ninjas in pajamas. Now just Guardian left. Oh, he probably wants to get out of there. He's falling back. We see Get Right in hot pursuit. He's not gonna let him survive this thing. Guardian somehow takes out Fiflaren. Get right sneaking up from behind. Exist! Drawing his attention? Nope, just ending him. Alright, 12 points now. Ninjas in pajamas. Navi a little bit behind economically. We'll be able to buy a weapon for a teammate there. There's Sterix, enough to buy an AWP for Guardian. Alright. Some players moving inside here for Ninjas in pajamas. We've got the bomb with him. Edward in a very forward position. Watching the ladder train. And seized. Watching TZ as well. I like this forward positioning. It's definitely going to punish an inside tank. And based on where Ninjas in pajamas is set up, they're not going to be able to throw the smokes and flashes that they need to deal with these very forward players. Look at this. Edward in seized. Check and Z. So they have to say, okay, it's B. Time to rotate. Here's Zeus. Taking out Forest. Freiburg, completely aware of that, where that player was going to be. Terrace move into the site and plant that bomb. Counter Terrace move into retake. But it's a 3 versus 4 retake. It's not going to be easy. And Freiburg charging forward. The player flank that seized. Oh, gets caught jumping over the balcony. A little bit sloppy there, as Edward runs away to hide for the next round. And that bomb will go off. Another win for Ninjas in Pajamas, putting them at 13 points. So next round from Navi, going to be one of those one player has a weapon things, where Edward's got to solo it. We saw them try that on the last game. It did not work out. Let's see how it works out this time for Edward. And he is the perfect player. To, uh, to put in this kind of a position. He's got a kit, he's got armor helmet, he's got a flash, he's ready for battle, he's got a solo ninjas in pajamas. 13 points over ninjas in pajamas, that means after this round, ninjas in pajamas, if they win this, which, I mean, they probably will, Navi has to win out to prevent an overtime. Alright, Terrace once again, moving a lot of players inside. 
That's exactly where Edward is, waiting for the player to pick. Oh, they may go down the ladder. Steric's now watching ladder. And, oh, Prenade takes him down to 23. Surprise, right in his face. And Edward's still in a position to hold this. We see Forrest creeping forward. Ooh. Oh, he made noise. Oh, still able to take out Forrest. Has to reload. Oh, runs back, and again, same thing. Freiburg does the exact same thing and gets the exact same kill. Player upper is falling back. No reason to pop out and just pre-shoot him as he comes around the corner. Oh, we see C's sneaking up. Close, and catches him off guard. Guardian, one versus three now, again in this situation. Hasn't really been able to clutch in this series. Here's Get Right. Knows there's a player trying to sneak up behind him. He got his back turned. His exist walks forward. He's only got seven health. That's the kill that a Guardian wants to grab. That's the exit frag right there, his exist. Up to. Oh, he sees him! He, he's a, oh, he didn't see him! I can't believe that! Might have been outside of his range of vision. We know a lot of players play 4 3 with bars. Maybe he didn't see him. All right, ninjas in pajamas, 14 points now. That means Navi has got to win out. They are buying for the rest of this game. Three players moving inside, two down Ivy. Sterex charging Ivy, so dangerous, so aggressive, so dead. That's a good pick. Players looking like they want to push down ladder. Oh, V-Flare and Mario's seized. But that's a trade. A trade's good when you get a pick, though. Two CTs are down, and only a few Flareon is dead. Ninjas in pajamas in a very good position on this. Now they're playing a little bit more passively, causing CTs to rotate. Maybe trying to get some intel on what's going on. There's not really any smokes to clear that they're waiting for. Get right walking all the way back from Ivy. Terra's going to be pushing inside. So it is all up to Zeus here to hold this off. Yeah, they're throwing the bomb there. Oh, they're going to go down ladder? Nope, they are going to be going inside. All right, one player at Ivy. That is Gidright. We'll be playing Lurk. And 35 seconds left. Using a lot of time to set this up. Already, a counter-terrorist is rotating back. Gidright starts moving out Ivy. 25 seconds left. They don't leave themselves enough time to plant this bomb. What are they waiting for? Good pre-flash, because that's exactly when they were going to be pushing. 20 seconds left. Zeus rotating, because they saw the player at IV. It worked. When you see Get Right, don't rotate to where Get Right is. Good nade. Has to hold off the bomb plant. Seven seconds. Just exist left. One versus three. Two seconds left. And he does not want to die right now. Oh, and he dies. That's going to kill him economically. Oh, he's got a ton of money. Never mind. When you die like that, you don't get reward money for the next round. He also doesn't save his weapon. All right, but wow. Navi's still able to hold on to it, but just by the slimmest of margins. What was Ninjas in Pajamas waiting for? They used all of their time there. All walking inside. It's the pain train. Let's see if they can bring it. If he flaring has eloped. Four players getting ready to push inside. Waiting for the smoke to clear. And solo Fiflaren. Now coming back up that ladder. Rejoining the group. This is like a, a team of survivors fighting off zombies right now. Sticking together. Getting ready to execute this take inside. That's a good prenade. Terra's moving into the site. Freiburg charges forward and sneaks up beside him. He's been doing this the whole game. Here's exactly where Guardian is. Here's Edward move in. 14 points now on Ninjas in Pajamas. Critical round. Navi still has to hold it off. Oh, Edward not paying attention. He is able to flick shot him, though. Very nice shot. Sterics charging forward for the retake. Exist goes down. Now just for Flaren left. One versus three. He has to play the bomb. Player is defusing it. He's got to peek it. Oh, no! Oh, my. He almost had that, too. 
strafed back and forth like that to avoid fire from the other players, but they killed his accuracy so he couldn't kill the bomb diffuser. Oh, man. That's okay, though. They got plenty of rounds. Navi, though, catching up now at 12 points. And again, going to be playing inside. They've been punishing this inside position. Poor Zeus has been having to hold this off the entire game. Here they come once again. And we saw before, Navi should be like, hey, there's nothing. There's nothing. He's pixeling this position to see him push. Zeus holding it off that time, doing a two-for-one sale there. Here's Guardian to hold off the inside push. Terrace might pull out of it now that they had two players picked. No, commencing. He knows where Freiburg's gonna run out. Oh, but Freiburg still takes him down. He was waiting for that, too. Get right, standing in the fire. Does get burned down by Edward. Now a one versus two. Fiflaren in the critical clutch situation. And as soon as that smoke clears, Seize is gonna have a clear shot. Oh, no, Fiflaren, run. 30 health left. They know where he is. Bomb down inside of the site. 45 seconds, plenty of time. We'll be smoking it. They should spray through that smoke. Yeah, we're gonna nade it. That's the right call. Be flaring, getting ready to push through it. Move into the site. 30 seconds. He seized, waiting for him. Do they see him? Do they know that he pushed out? Yeah, they know now. Now one versus one. Be flaring versus seized, and seized is able to pick it up. 20 seconds left on the clock at the end of that. Nice attempt. Navi now at 13, Ninjas in Pajamas losing their lead. Navi is able to hold on to it, doing a great job here. Preventing Ninjas in Pajamas from doing their B take. Are they gonna, oh, they're gonna save. That's gonna put it 14-14, all tied up. But it is the smoke outside strat, I love this. I did a strat talk on this previously. Look at that, this time, it's a little bit different though. They've split the map in half, that's to get a bomb plan. Nice shot. Good pick. Exist will get the bomb plant. When you see those smokes come down, you should spray where the bomb plant position is. Oh, Guardian. Just get right left. One versus three not going to happen. Will be a defuse, but that money will give ninjas in pajamas the weapons that they need for next round. And that is 14-14 now. Navi has come back and tied it all up here for the finale of game number two. If Navi is able to win here, two rounds left. They'll push it into a game number three. However, if Ninjas in Pajamas finally is able to break through the defenses that Navi has been able to put up, that will be game. Guardian to AWP inside. With Zeus. Gonna be two player in that this time. Assuming they're gonna be doing that, uh, that same thing. Oh, knows that the Terrace are pushing aggressively. Sterix falling back. Good pre-nade. Does hit. Get right. And Terrace are able to move out. Ivy, but counter Terrace in position. Charging forward. We saw Forrest now was going to go hell. Freiburg is already dead. Oh, wow. Now a four versus two on this critical round. And continuing to push out here. Sterix on the left side. Sterix has been able to hold off Ivy very well in this game. I think that's what scared him away from it. And get right aware of where he is now. Could call in the cavalry. Zeus trying to pick. Terrace have good control right now. They know exactly what's going on. They know exactly where both of these players are. Nice shot through the electrical box. Knows there's one player at Z. 45 seconds left. Get right trying to sneak up behind him. Sterex aware of it. Like, come at me, bro. And is able to take him down. Now just exists left one versus two. Navi very close to getting 15 points. Critical number. Exist has the bomb. Counter terrorists have rotated inside, assuming the player was uh, was trying to trick him. That's a huge mistake. That'll give Exist here. Bomb planted. All he has to do is play defense. You know he's E-box. Oh, Sterix misses a shot from behind. Exist holding it off. Oh no. And Exist is able to take down both of those players in a 1v2. Putting Ninjas in Pajamas at 15 points. Wow, Navi at the critical points, making some critical errors and allowing Exist to get that bomb down and play defense. All right, Navi. One point left. Ninjas in Pajamas just has one left to do. And they're going to be doing this B push again. This has not worked well. Zeus here 
Gonna have to play inside. They've been really abusing this spot. Freiburg with the entry again. 14 health. Flaren using the post to hold it off. And now a four versus four for the retake. It is possible. Three versus four. It looks good for Navi. Nice shot by Get Right though. Counter Terrace moving forward. Edward sneaking up behind him. Get Right doesn't seem to be aware. Edward takes him down from behind. Terrace just have to play the bomb. It is a fake defuse. They called the bluff. Now a one versus three. Forest takes down two players. Bomb has been defused, and that is 15-15, and that's going to put it into an overtime. What a play. What a round. That was incredibly close. Forrest fell back, assumed they were doing another fake defuse, but Edward went for it and won that round. Wow. And we shall resume when they're ready for the overtime. First half of the first overtime is live. Overtime works. You play three rounds on each side, and you have to win. You can't tie again. We'll push it into another overtime. Counter-Strike's one of those games that could go on forever if the teams keep tying. Oh, here we go. Smoking outside. Ninjas in pajamas is smoking. Yep, splitting the map in half. This is the time when you gotta shoot the bomb plant position. Again, Freiburg puts it for Flair and inexplicably burns to death. Terrace are taking it. Every Terrace win here on the overtime is gonna be huge. Bomb dropped. Counter Terrace moving in from all sides. Navi holding them off. Kid right, not able to land a shot, and it is an excellent roll off there by Navi. Poor ninjas in pajamas. Just lost that round. Looking great for Navi. All right. And they start with a whole bunch of money, so we don't have to do with save rounds in these things. Ninjas in pajamas. Playing it aggressively once again. That was an incredibly ballsy play. Did not work out for them. Forrest grabs a pick. Wow. That's going to be huge. Guardian. Watch and be. And because of that pick, they have to rotate and play um, only one player inside. They can't afford to keep an extra player inside. So Guardian's going to have to solo that. But it is a 2-1-2 split. And it looks like they're going to be taking... Outside. No, we have Freiburg falling back. Oh, just to throw the smoke outside. And, oh, looking like they're going to peek. Exist and Fiflaren testing it. Fiflaren jumps by and then allows Exist to go for the pick. Guardian's able to survive it, though, and falls back. And they have... It worked. They're rotating Zeus inside. Now is the time to strike. They're faking inside. I don't believe they're going to commit to that. They're going to fall back and now execute this 2-1-2. So they're getting ready to push now. Let's watch Freiburg. He loves to run into hell. Let's see if he can pull it off again with Edward up in heaven. Gidright moving out. Taking on Sterix. Sterix does kill Gidright. Oh, Freiburg tries to catch him off guard. Now a 2 versus 3. Nice shot by Exist. Knew where that player was going to be trying to shoot his little feet. And he's able to do it. Now a 1 versus 2. It is Guardian trying to prevent that player from planting. But he is planting in a safe plant position. Guardian sneaking forward. He doesn't want this op. He wants to get an AK or, or an M4 or something. Where is Exist going? Rotating all the way around to sneak up behind him. And Forrest takes him down. That's a four frag from Forrest. Let's get an Owl Vision. Lovely jump. And every T round, every T win is going to be amazing. It's going to be very important. All right. Sterix, once again, should be commended for how he's been holding off Ivy. He's forced ninjas in pajamas to resort to a lot of uh, inside takes. They're setting up the standard 2 on 2 again, trying to boost Get Right Up. A little bit sloppy. Trying to pick Sterix. The time they've been able to push Ivy is when they picked... And it worked! It worked! They actually were able to get him. And now they're getting ready to push. Ooh, Guardian has moved into position, though. 
does hold it off. Terra's trying to push outside. Get right, waiting to pick. Fiflaren comes in from the other position. Zeus with the auto sniper. Fiflaren with another frag. Now just Edward left. Allows Get right to run by. And gets taken down by Forest. And Ninjas in Pajamas just took two points in that overtime. That's huge. Two T, two T side points. And they're changing halves once again. And Navi is going to have to play an excellent game. They're going to have to win every single round to win this game. Let's see what happens. As they switch. Second half of the first overtime has commenced. Guardian will be opping T side. And we have an auto sniper for outside. Get right, soloing inside. Edward pre Maltos, but there's nobody there. Freiburg gonna be watching Longe, or Ivy. And Navi getting ready to throw the smokes. Four player smoke. Love the setup. Here it goes. You're gonna do an outside take. Let's check out their configuration. Instead of splitting it in half. Oh, that one is a miss, though. Wow. And counter terrorists are able to hold it off. Terrorists not able to push out at all. A little bit sloppy. Edward 1 versus 3 now. This is not the time you want to be sloppy. He's got Gidright sneaking up behind him. Oh, trying to climb up that ladder. And it, I mean, just climbing up the ladder was a little bit sloppy. Nerves must be getting to Navi. And now Ninjas in Pajamas. Close to victory. They have two rounds to win one point for the game. See if they can pull it off. Navi now has to win both of these rounds just to tie it. Here's Gid right. Holding off inside. See a few terrorists getting ready to push here. Free spray from Gid right. One player getting ready to push out ladder. They've fallen back from inside. However, they've rotated Fee Flaren and Gid right inside. So now is the time to strike for Navi. Edward dodges a nade. Already pushed forward at ladder. Oh, look, Exist is going to try and peek him. Will he see his shoulder? Will he see his gun sticking out? There he is! And Edward's able to take him down. One player getting ready to move out Z. Looks like they're creeping forward here at inside. Nice pick by Fee Flaren. Terrace getting ready to push inside. There's Sterex. Sterex goes down. But they pulled outside. Here's Freiburg with the auto sniper. Taking on Guardian. Guardian not able to land the shot. And Terrace trying to get that bomb planted. Two versus two now. This is match point. Oh, get right fails on the spray. Pulls out the pistol and ends him. Fee Flaren flanking. Edward has that bomb. Oh, Fee Flaren pulling back, and that's going to allow Edward to get this bomb planted. If he peeks. Oh, he just looked away at the exact moment. And Fiflaren takes him out. They will be defusing, and that is going to be game. Giant congratulations to the ninjas in pajamas for winning DreamHack Summer 2014. Thank you folks very much for watching. I am the War Owl, and I still have no closer.